white and light blue blankets and winter and there is a new optifine version available we don't care about that my base is over there welcome back to super fun adventures hmm i want hmm well i was going to point out the fact that there is a bunch of pigeons making a nest pretty much above there till above my room but this Stopped making noises just as I started recording. I guess I will not be complaining about that. I see I have a problem with food instead. That's not too great. Let's see, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I have a plan, but... Oh, and... Uh, <laughs> I'm Steve! I have a plan, but I haven't tried it offline before. In another, in another single-player world nor anything, so I don't know if it's going to work, but I have to retrieve my stuff. Uh, so hopefully this will work. Uh, oh, well, that will make the job much harder. It's been raining a lot uh, around here recently, and... Uh, angry pigments somewhere around there. That uh, has resulted in lots of water. I think the pigmen were angry here at this pond. Oh man, yes! They have this pond! Yes! Yes! I didn't get my stuff! Oh crap, the gas is going to blow them up though. Don't, 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 don't shoot! Yes! <laughs> Great! Awesome! I... Well, this was really easy! I had a whole plan! to approach the pigman and get my stuff back without getting killed again but there was no need to resort to such measures luckily the pigmen have already despawned but not the items so all the angry pigmen are gone and I could retrieve my stuff right in my face I could retrieve my things very easily that's great all my plans for this episode have been thrown away but not complaining about that i was talking about the rain instead it's pretty bad it's been raining a lot and apparently we also have issues with a dam around here that's been uh too full and water's going all over the place in in all other details <laughs> other little little things <laughs> totally not important at all uh, and uh, lots of storms and lots of water everywhere means uh, lots of roads that are closed. A bunch of inconveniences everywhere and stuff. And luckily where I am, uh, my feet uh, are not wet yet. But uh, the, my, the only consequence that I actually feel is one of the, I suppose, uh, less important ones. Uh, that is simply... A whole lot of lack of uh, internet connection. <laughs> so that's actually why I'm. I don't have my skin here. That oh, as, wait, I want my balls. Uh, that's because I'm playing in offline mode because currently there is no internet. Oh, but there is lots of gas. Help! <laughs> I, I think about it, I have no idea how we'll end up putting this video online. Awkward silence. <laughs> Sudden realization. <laughs> My plan to get the random netherrack around to get. Uh, the my items uh, my original plan for that uh, was to literally build a little wall if I remember correctly oh more red mushrooms and I was hoping to verify that uh, today but maybe we can do that with the pigment down here instead uh, the way I seem to remember things to work uh, is that big men when they chase you still have a pretty bad AI that is incapable of walking around obstacles. They try to reach you in a straight line. Which would have meant that I could have simply built a little wall like this, jump on it, and I told before jumping on it, get close to the pigments so they see me again, they chase me, and then I just go behind the wall and I can hit them 
how much how much I wish and they will not be able to reach me because they don't have the required intelligence to walk a, around a wall. That's the way I understand it works, but again, I did not really get a chance to ever test it properly. So I might be saying a whole bunch of stupid things now and thinking about stupid things. I am running out of of uh, uh, coal really fast. So I guess I'll just leave a trail of cobblestone instead. There's more red and brown mushrooms over there, which is good. I will gladly take more if possible. And I think I would like to explore this mine shaft because this one is low. I don't have to uh, j climb uh, 20 blocks in the air like in the mine shaft that we passed before, so I think I'd like to explore this. Plus, I want to check out any lava pool I come across for the purpose of finding iron ore and gold ore. The only thing that's a problem is that I'm trying not to sprint so that I will not use up too much uh, hunger. But that also makes things much more slow and annoying. <laughs> Luckily, I found a whole bunch of food right now, and I should find some bread in this mineshaft unless I'm very unlikely. unlucky. Not unlikely. I'm not very unlikely. Am I? Is it an insult? I don't know. If it's an insult, I'm not. <laughs> there we go. Sold. Mushroom stew is terrible. <laughs> it's... Wow. It's, it's, it's a decent food item. There's worse. There's rotten flesh. Whip dee dee dee. I'm just checking out this lava pool. Leave me alone. But th it's just impractical because it doesn't stack with itself. You can't put them together. So that means you have to bring around three items at a time. It occupies three extra spots, slots, at where you could instead have three stacks of cooked potatoes. It's just ridiculous. It, clearly, in any other situation, you wouldn't want to have uh, uh, mushroom stew as your main food. Just There's just no reason why you would want that. Of course, if you're stuck in a swamp biome, then you will be glad to find mushrooms. And plus, there is uh, the added uh, advantage that is still a renewable, completely renewable, a renewable food. Setting up a mushroom farm is not uh, uh, your... You wouldn't do it like your normal farm, you can't use uh, bone meal and just plant stuff on the ground. They actually, instead of needing light, they need shadow. So they need a tiny, a tiny bit uh, of care. That's not too bad, but if you have an alternative, definitely take it. Why, why is the gas still shooting at me? Hi! I don't like you. I guess I can take a look how many mushrooms do I have. Oh, I need brown ones. I'll take them all while avoiding that gas if possible. Please don't take down my mushrooms. Okay, this gas doesn't like me. Let's look for chests! I would be really happy there's a fallen torch here. Like a fallen here. A torch used to be good, but now it's bad, and oh, there's a fire. Oh, 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 there's also... I mean, going to ignore the fire, because there is something beautiful here. There's only one of it, though, I think. Maybe two, maybe two, two! Oh, and I al almost uh, dropped it in the lava. No. Bad. Bad ghast. Bad. I really don't understand why fireballs uh, look like they're flying over your head, but yet they can still hit you, and you can still hit them. It's really weird. I don't know if it used to be a bug where guests would aim at the camera instead of the player. So you could just F5 and it wouldn't be able to hit you that easily. But I'm pretty sure it's been fixed. I just want the chest. Oh, there's a... Oh, this is a very beautiful chest. Look at that. Iron? Redstone? Do we need redstone for anything? I don't think we need redstone, do we? I haven't seen a single spawner so far, which I don't mind, because without armor, I'd still prefer to not have white rails. <laughs> Why would anybody put the rails in a chest? Uh, I, for storage purposes. Okay, fine. So I'm going to see all those mineshafts in the horizon. Uh, this place 
sunset does not have or does it? I don't know what was wrong with that gas. There's nothing else here. This preset does not have an increased number of my shafts from usual. I truly think it does. I think I just made it double. So I take it back. <laughs> they were only forgotten. My previous idea for this... Oh, I might actually be losing my way home. My previous idea! Idea! For this season of... Super Fat Adventures. Well, it's a completely different one. It was something I really wanted to do. But when I... It, it's something I thought of back when I still had the other computer. And the only problem I had with that was that that specific preset would not run on my computer for more than 5 minutes. It was... It would take just too much memory and or processor power or whatever would just melt it. It wouldn't work, and there was no way of recording it, especially. That's tall grass, I think, I've seen three chunks. Uh, there is a spawner. Also, I need some indication, but that's not the way I wanted to do it. There we go, some indication that I came from that direction. If all else fails, I guess I can just have three. Do I see... I see something right over there that I can't really recognize. Uh, let's go over there. That idea was uh, related to mine shafts. I wanted to have a world that was made entirely of mine shafts, and what I was seeing was just a normal lava pool. Nothing interesting here. Nope. So, I don't like that mine shaft because it's up in the air. I don't think I really want to check that out unless I can see some easy to grab chests. Oh, let's try pillowing up. I guess it can't hurt. Oh, it totally can, but <laughs> whatever. Today I feel risky. Risky? No, I feel brave. The amount of uh, mine shafts. Wait, this doesn't lead anywhere. <laughs> that sucks. The amount of mine shafts that's generating a super flat world can be controlled through the custom preset. Uh, there is a value for how uh, how many mine shafts uh, the world is going to generate. A value controls the density, I guess we can call it, of the mine shafts as they when they are generated with the world, and the value goes from zero point zero one to one. I Oh boy, let me double check actually. Yep, yep, from... Oh, uh, there's... Uh, if I want this call, I have to place a block there. Voila! It goes from 0 0.1 to 1. And the interesting thing is that the default... Oh, more iron ore, that's great. The default value is 0 0.01. Oh, oh, I almost dropped the iron. Which means that you can possibly... Decide it's in your power to make mine shafts 100 times more common than they normally are. You cannot affect the height, and they will always weird. <laughs> they will always generate between layer of 40 all the way to bedrock. I think it's below layer 40. Uh, that is dangerous. That is really dangerous. So th there is no way for you to, to customize that, but you can have 100 times the amount of mine shafts uh, normally generate in the fat world. And I believe that value, that concentration of mine shafts should be exactly the same as the default uh, amount of mine shafts that generate in normal worlds. Although I don't have really have a way of verifying that. Uh, and that's pretty damn insane. <laughs> 100 times the mine shafts you can see right now means that it's just this huge landscape of wood and string and so many cave spider spawners. It's pretty hilarious. Issue is, 
as you all know, my shafts generate from a specific room, uh, which I just call the dirt room. It's that one uh, rectangular room that uh, uh, you can find in any mine shaft. Sometimes you can find even two. That just means that two mine shafts have generated around the same area. That is the point of origin of the mine shaft. Uh, exactly the same way, even villages. <coughs> I'm trying to go back now. Even villages uh, uh, generate starting from a specific point, uh, which would be the well. The well we find in every village, that's the start uh, of uh, every village. That's uh, the point where Minecraft uh, started generating the village. That's why you will always find a single well in every single village. That's just because that's where the village comes from. <laughs> We're having an adult talk here. My shafts work the same way, they all start generating from a, this dirt room, that's the first part of the mineshaft that Minecraft generates, and that room has a similar property to dungeons. That property being that it can only generate where there is already terrain, where there are already blocks, which is why you will never ever find a single dungeon floating in the air in, in any normal world or super fat world, it's just impossible, there has to be some sort of terrain and I think the kind of terrain it can spawn in might also be a restriction in fact we might not find dungeons in near maybe in that case because maybe in netherrack we will not find uh, dungeons uh, uh, that would be a bit of a shame, although I guess I should have, I should have thought of that. What happens when you generate a super flat world? Look at this! <laughs> this is beautiful! I love it! All the destruction! Oh, oh, chest, chest, chest! Gotta get the chest, gotta get the chest! Oh, there's two chests. Let's get this one first, because uh, this... Oh, wait. I already... I already got that chest, apparently. Did I miss this one, though? Give me... Ah, nope, there is stuff here. Not stuff that I will be really useful, but I'll gladly take it. Uh, am I on the right track? Uh, where did I come from? I think... Uh, maybe that way? I'm not entirely sure. Let's make more food. Actually, I still have one. Oh, I did find some bread too. Hey, I'll keep it. That's kind of too rare to use it down here. Minecraft will still try to find a place to generate whatever structure it's trying to generate. Even if the conditions aren't perfect, it will still try. So if you generate a world that is made entirely of void with a super flat custom preset and you enable mine shafts, they will appear in me there and there will not be any of those rectangular dirt rooms at all. The only downside to that is that it will take a lot for the world to generate and as you walk, chunks will take lots of time to to load because uh, when you get to, oh there we go when you get to, to new chunks that's when Minecraft generates the mine shaft uh, and Minecraft is going to look everywhere <laughs> very far and wide to find a suitable place to place that mine shaft where the seed says that it should be a mine shaft there but it's not going to find a, a place for that dirt room because it didn't place he didn't generate any blocks in that uh, super flat uh, custom preset. So it's going to take a long while and eventually Minecraft is going to kind of just give up and still place the mineshaft in me there and it's just going to really slow you down when uh, you load those chunks for the first time uh, and you go and Minecraft goes through that uh, process. The more mineshafts you try to generate in a super flat custom preset uh, with that is made entirely of void or land that is either that is either too low or too high for my shaft to manage to generate in on properly and easily 
that, that's going to that's the way it's going to go it's going to be very slow to the point of getting unplayable of course once you have loaded the chunks it is actually playable but uh, yeah that's the way the situation is and i'm so glad i found all of this much what have i been from once oh there <laughs> great that's why the um, chest full that's why my idea for uh, playing in a world that's made only of mine shops uh, with uh, no normal land whatsoever is actually unfeasible. It's uh, walking in those chunks for the first time uh, it makes it uh, brings the game it almost freezes it for a little while. Even with this kind of computer, which isn't that great, but it isn't too bad either. It's just uh, too much for a poor little game to do. Next I'm going to kill you. <laughs> so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And I will see you in next episode of Super Fuck Adventures.